just in time. Look at Jonah in the belly of the fish. He's floating around with tummy juices and sucked in seaweed. He prays. Before he can say amen, the belly rumbles, the fish belches, and Jonah lands face first on the beach. Look at Daniel in the lion's den. Things aren't looking good. Jonah was swallowed, and Daniel is about to be. Or look at Joseph in the pit, a dusty hole in a hot desert. His brothers have pulled the lid over the top and the wool over his eyes. Like Jonah and Daniel, Joseph is trapped. He is out of ideas. No exit, no hope. But even though Joseph's road to the palace takes a turn through a pit and a prison, he ends up at the throne. The stories of the Bible often go this way. One close call after another. Just when the lion is about to pounce, just when the prison door clangs shut, Calvary comes, and God saves the day, just in time. Pretend you are Jonah, Daniel, or Joseph. How would it feel to be trapped in the belly of a fish, in a den of hungry lions, or in a deep, dark desert pit? Now imagine how wonderful it would feel to be saved by God, just in time.